Hey, Beatrice Ndora, I would like to speak on sexual abuse, facts that you need to know. I passionately speak on sexual abuse based on my journey and also through experiences that I have gained in the line of my work. What is sexual abuse? Many people believe that sexual abuse is physical intercourse. Actually, it is not. Sexual abuse is physical, verbal, visual, and emotional. Physical is abuse when penetration takes place without consent. And this can be in form of rape or attempted rape. I have listened to arguments where a person is emotionally and mentally tormented because of attempted rape. And people argued, did they or did he penetrate you? No, he did not. Then why are you claiming that he abused you? Well, whether there was penetration or not, attempted rape is painful. It is equivalent to rape. Both of them involve torture. And I would respectfully ask you not to minimize the sexual pain that people have gone through. Verbal is when people engage in that sexual language, which is in, inappropriate, inappropriate because that is a violation of boundary. describing sexual activities, talking to somebody in, in that inappropriate way. Vishu, it is when you force people to watch pornographic or nude pictures or expose yourself and force people to watch you. That is visual sexual abuse. And I'm just touching a little bit, we will talk into details in the videos that will we'll follow. So, sexual violation is a problem that is inescapable. Why? Because it brings in shock, anger, bitterness, emotional torture, and sometimes anxiety and depression. And some people live through that for the rest of their life, especially when they lack the ability to address the problem or, or get the support. So it is very important to be supportive. We need to support people who come to us and seek help and they want to talk about it. They need that social support. They need those listening ears. And most likely, we need to give them the support that they can have the necessary coping skills to address their, their problem. So, if you've been sexually abused and you do not know what to do, here are a couple of tips. Talk 
to somebody that you trust. Somebody who will not breach confidentiality and end up betraying you. Maybe a trusted person can be a family member, a friend, a professional counselor, a therapist, a minister, or even a social worker. And when we give people the trust they need, we become instrumental in helping them to heal, to heal their past trauma and live a life of fulfillment. The other thing you need to do, do not believe everything that your abuser told you you were, or believe what other people told you when they heard about your sexual abuse. The more you believe those negative talks, the more you hinder your healing journey. One important thing that I would like to say is you have to be defiant. Refuse to believe what that person told you when they abused you. And I would like to remind you this. Yes, you were abused. It was not your fault. You had no control over what happened, but right now you have control to command your healing and walk through your healing journey. And I'm sharing these tips from my own experience. I had to reach a point where I spoke to myself. Yes, I was abused. It was not my fault. I have no control over my past, but I have control over my present. And because I have control, I choose to heal. I am a testimony of healing. You can heal. Let us connect again in another video. Thank you for taking interest in this video. Comment and share it with other people who might be interested. Thank you.